Okay, hi guys, we're back, and today we're doing a little e mart tour at our local e mart. So, before you go into any building in Korea right now, you have to call a phone number for contact tracing and then get your temperature taken. So this e-mart that we're in is a pretty big one. It's three stories. This bottom floor that we're in has like, I don't know, I guess you could say like cleaning and like hair care and all that kind of stuff in addition to food. And then on the second floor, there's a bunch of different stores that have like clothing items. And then the top is like appliances, kitchen, things like that. So no brand is actually a brand in Korea. You can get basically anything no brand. You can get air fryers, you can get shampoo, you can get all kinds of foods. But yeah, it's just a really cheap brand. It's kind of like, what would you say like at Walmart? There's, um, oh, I can't even remember. Great value. Great value, yeah. It's pretty uh, much like e the great value of E-Mart. These little like probiotic yogurt drinks are really popular here. We always have them in our fridge. Over here we have basically like the equivalent of like a deli section in a Korean grocery store. So they just have a bunch of different kinds of kimbap and stuff like that. And it's pretty cleaned out right now because it's the evening. But they also have some sushi and sashimi and stuff like that too. Is it marinated already? Yeah, it's got like a kind of a soy sauce okay. kind of mixture on it for nice. bogey. Looks good. My favorite orange juice is made from Jeju Mandarin oranges. It's so good. Okay, so this is like the cheese selection. It's actually quite large here, but it is obviously going to be more expensive to get cheese in a place where people don't eat cheese that much. Um, and if people do eat cheese, it's usually this, the 100 slices of the really gross American cheese. So that's what they have. All of these right here are that kind. And then they have shredded mozzarella is also a huge section because they put that on top of ramen and things like that. But you can also find like good butter, you can find cream cheese, stuff like that. You just have to be willing to pay a little bit more for it. Oh guys, I'm still getting used to like vlogging in public and sometimes it's so embarrassing because people stare at me so much. This is like my students' favorite thing. They get so excited when they have this for lunch. But it's basically just like tiny strips of seaweed that are really salty and yummy and they put it on top of rice. Super good. Korean food always has a ton of side dishes as well. So people will often make them themselves but you can also buy them at the grocery store here. You can get like squid and a lot of different I don't know, like fermented things. Most of them are pretty good. Something I just love about Korea in general is that there's like access to so many different items. Like there's a ton of avocados here. Like people in Korea don't really eat avocados or like mangoes for example, but it's really easy to find these things. You just have to be willing to pay a little bit more to get them. I don't know if that's mainly because we live like closer to Seoul or if that's like that all around Korea because I actually haven't been outside of Seoul yet. But yeah, I mean, it's really easy to find anything that we need. We also, of course, have a ton of different tofu options. You can get soft, hard, anything in between. There's a lot of different good options. I've started to like tofu a lot more because I didn't used to like it before I came here. Of course, we have the kimchi aisle as well. Over up on the other side, there's a whole aisle just for seaweed. So there's obviously a lot of options if you want to get Korean food. So here's the foreign food section. We have things like jam, Nutella, peanut butter, canned food items. You can even get some Hershey's chocolate syrup if you wanted to. But yeah, we usually have to go to the foreign food section to find any kind of like baking items. If you're in Korea and you're baking, make sure to get this kind of brown sugar. Because we've gotten this one before, but honestly it's basically the same as white sugar. I think they might just like color it. This is the good stuff. It has like the molasses that changes the texture. Okay, and here's some more of the foreign food section. We have a bunch of pasta, pasta sauces, some like Mexican food, salad dressings, things like that. This is like dumb, but it honestly like makes me a little bit mad sometimes. Like the things that they decide to bring over import to Korea. Like who wanted this? Like I did, uh, there's so many things I would have preferred that they imported rather than this stupid nacho cheese, but you get what you get. Okay, here we have some of our most important ingredients. We've got soy sauce, and then here we've got fermented bean paste. We've got, the, it's kind of a bean and pepper paste for dipping meats in. And then we've got this nice, good old spicy pepper paste. 
all yeah. very important for Korean foods. Definitely. This is my favorite stuff over here. I could just eat this straight. It's so good. You put it on Korean barbecue, but it's delicious. Okay, so we're now on the second floor, which is basically just there's a bunch of stores, like clothing stores and stuff like that, that have like little mini shops around here. So it's really convenient. You can pick up things like socks or random clothes or different things that you need. Most people in Korea celebrate Christmas, but it's mostly like a commercial thing or like a couple holiday. But it's still really fun and cute to get everything all decorated. Oh, Joseph, last time I was here, a kid literally tackled this to the ground. Oh, that was so funny. There's a really large self-checkout area and people will usually bring their own bags, so that's the most common thing. But you can also buy grocery bags that double as trash bags, which is really convenient because that's how you pay for your trash around here. You have to buy the bag to throw stuff away. All right, so we're just gonna head back home now, but thanks for coming with us on our little e-mart tour. We hope you enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.